And hello, and welcome to another episode of Pass the Remote, the TV show podcast here on CBC. Of course, I am Joe, and across the internet is Mitch. And you can find us on Twitter at Halftime Joe at Mitch692, because you can also just want to know our takes, like how I said, Cloak and Dagger is probably my favorite superhero show at the moment. I li- Did you say that? I, I actually tweeted that. Like I oh tweeted that last night. I said because of that recent episode, the one we're gonna talk about later. I just, it just beca- it just skyrocketed to one of my favorite superhero shows right yeah. now. Um, so that is factual and two delete it or something. Like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, now we are gone with the San Diego Comic Con news, though there are some little uh, remnants of it here and there. Pretty much it, all of it is just gone. It ca- it came and gone, and now we're just back to normal. Um, talking to shows and talking a little bit of TV shows we have in, in a couple months. Or when you say October is when all the TV shows come back, basically, right? All the, yeah, most yeah. of them. So with that, we are going to get started. Oh, before I almost forgot, you can uh, Google us. I was just going to go straight to the news, but you know <laughs> what? I almost forgot. I, I felt like I need to say that because some people don't know. They're like, hey, we're gonna, do you have a Twitter? Is it? Yeah, you can just Google Comic Book Cast and you'll find the Twitter. You'll find the Instagram. You'll find uh, YouTube, Twitch, everything. You need to know Facebook, so SoundCloud. It doesn't matter. Like, Just Google Comic Book Cast and it'll be I, there. I still find it weird in this day and age people just don't inherently Google. I agree. It's not a question, Google it. It's uh, right there. <laughs> 100%, 100%. Uh, so with that, we are going to get into the first piece of news and that is HBO saying they have high hopes for the Watchmen pilot. Now, I bring this up, not more, because me, me and you both know that there's this whole thing, like, it hasn't been ordered to season, so that, you know, the pilot's still trying to get made, and they're still trying to pitch it, but a lot of people don't know is, while they are maybe excited for the show, it could still not happen, technically. They I mean, look, yeah, that's everything, isn't it? Yeah, so... Unless you get all this straight to season, like a cloak and dagger. I think a um, lot of people are on the assumption that this show is just happening right at the gate. And it's not yeah, yeah. really because they even, uh, in this article, uh, I think it's at the TCA, the summer TCA, HBO president says that while the stuff they've seen is amazing and they are hopeful, um, they still have to see the pilot first before they order to a series or whatever. And it's just... Like, what if it isn't that good? What if you hear all this stuff and it just it doesn't get made? And that's one of those things we always talk about, right? The curtain is being peeled back. Like, you're hearing about yeah. this as early as possible. Because before, you might have heard about this Watchmen show when it was already ordered to series. But now, just, I don't know, it feels, um, it feels weird. What if it just doesn't get made? A lot of people will be like, well, I thought they said it would get made. No, it didn't. They said they were making a show and they still had to make the pilot. I mean, I feel like we've always known about like pilots with TV shows. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and uh, in, like, you know, even if they don't like it, it doesn't get picked up. I feel like that's just been a common thing, or at least I've known about. I, I don't know if the I, general populace has, but I, I think people in this kind of sphere, if you're really into this kind of stuff, you might have eventually. But if you're not, you're just kind of. But you hear, oh, that's awesome. You know, I love Watchmen, and they have a show coming out. You might still think it's just being made into series, mm. but you might not know that they still have to pitch the series with the pilot. So it's yeah. one of those things that it would be... We haven't, I think, gone to this extent where, you know, like I said, the, the curtains are being peeled back, right? And you you hear about... every since Ever since they like had the idea of having a Watchmen TV show, and now... What if it just doesn't get made and people are just going to be... I, I can already see it. People being mad saying, oh, I thought they were going to make it. and yeah, no, no, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think that would be your reaction. I, I think today it'll be like, I guess it was shit. And then people just move on. Really? I, see, I don't know. I see, I, I'm see. i not personally that excited about it. I think it, I have to first see it. But I don't know. I see some people that are kind of excited about it. Maybe it's I see, a lot. I see a split. I see, you know, it's the general 50-50. People are like, oh, no, you can't like, you can't change what Watchmen was. And, and, and then people are going, like, oh, cool, Watchmen, yeah. But... Like, I, I don't even know if I'm that excited about this show. Like, it's just going to happen and we'll see, right, whenever it happens. Which, what do we say? Probably 2020? Probably not 2019. Um, 
Or maybe 2019, to be fair. Have, they, even, have, they, filmed the, have they filmed the pilot? They have, haven't they? I, I think they said... Um, I think they it's, might have because they said they'll see it in a few weeks. So I'm assuming yeah, they finished. and we've had, finished we've had the set photos of everything. We have? I haven't seen those. Yeah. I honestly haven't seen those. I mean, you, you wouldn't tell their Watchmen pilots from looking at them, but they no, are... No. This was like months back. Um... I don't know. You know, if they have high hopes for it, uh, from what I've heard of Jeff Johns talking about it, he thinks it's going to be great. So I don't see it not getting picked up. I mean, hopefully, right? You, you'd you want to see more kind of different takes on this stuff happen. And, but I, I just don't know. I, I agree. I don't see it not being picked up, but it's still one of those things that could not. So it's not getting our... Hope so. It's just the way say. the pilot, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know. I, I just feel like with the curtains being pulled back, it's different now. A lot of people expect these things I mean, to be yeah, made when you it, shouldn't because it's still the same old, same old. You have to pitch them. The idea. I don't think people expect it to be made. I just don't think a lot of people are talking about the fact that it's not a season order. It's only I, a pilot. I see so many people expect so many things get made just for announcements when it's like, yeah, that might not get made. Remember when Nightwing got announced? I had, so many people were like, I can't yeah, but wait that, to that's, this movie. That's slightly different. That's Warner Brothers announcing every property under the yeah, sun. Yeah, but it, it, I feel like it's with anything nowadays. Anything gets announced, a lot of people are going to think it's just going to be made. And sometimes it is, if they say it's a serious order. I, which I don't even know if the Game of Thrones uh, prequel is a series order. No, it's a pilot, but I just don't know if it's a series order. No, I, I think it's a series order. All right, well, good thing because uh, yeah, I'm looking forward. I want that to happen, but uh, yeah, and you know, I mean, this does bring me back to like Aquaman, Wonder Woman. I think Aquaman w- did come out the pilot, whereas uh, Wonder no, Woman it, didn't. Uh, I don't think. No, that, uh, no Aquaman uh, one never came out. It was a bonus feature on something. That's all oh, Smallville. Oh, Smallville. Yeah, they, uh, Smallville. You can never yeah. find the Wonder Woman though one. Like you couldn't like the it Wonder didn't officially Wonder... come out though. No, you can find it, but you have to go to like dark web. Yeah, but uh, that's yeah. what I'm saying. You, it didn't officially come out, whereas the Aquaman did. It, I well, mean, I, I guess, guess officially. Never, should get, I think. It was only ever released on the small uh, Smallville Blu-ray. I mean, I, do you count that as officially out? Like it's on a DVD. No. Yeah, but it's not as. Yeah, Aquaman is a bonus like, feature. Wonder Woman ne- never made it to any bonus feature. So, like, even then, Aquaman at least made it a little bit farther than Wonder Woman did. And even then, it's like... I mean, it's, it's made it a bit farther, but it's not... Yeah. I wouldn't ever class that as an official release. Official release for a TV pilot God. is to be on TV. Yeah, well, okay, so. well, that's true. Because, yeah, there's a lot of pilots that don't officially release, but... There's a ton of I pilots. remember the, the Aquaman pilot, man. I watched that, and I was like, man, see, it's a good thing, like, CG went as fast as it did because like it wasn't you know they had to work around it so bad before yeah yeah but well, well, cw i don't like that well i mean even i mean smallville likes the cg it's just that cg wasn't that great back in the day you know i mean there is that as well but so but all right going on to the next piece of news we're going to be talking about iron fist season two teaser and how it showcases the iconic mask now of course there were some images floating around the internet around San Diego Comic Con of Davos. Right? That's the guy's name? Yeah. yeah Obviously, I, that thing that you see in the TV. Because I keep thinking when I say Davos, I'm thinking like Game of Thrones. So, but, yeah. Yeah, I forgot there's a guy called Davos in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so we saw that one image of Davos kind of floating around. Now we see that Danny has the mask. And, I, I mean, it's not like I was expecting... Something else. It looks like it should look. I, I don't know. I, I mean, here's the thing: is that's not like an official costume. That's like a ceremonial flash. Yeah. So it can look how cheap it wants. It's just a do rag, right? Yeah. I don't, I don't get understand people going like, oh, like why is it so cheap? Like it's literally an orange piece of cloth or a yellow piece of cloth tied around his half his face. What did you expect? Do you want a helmet? Because that, nah, that would look weird. A helmet no. would look weird, but uh. I mean, I'm sure, because we're going to get the actual costume in modern day, right? If I remember correctly, they said that, um, or no? I don't, there's going to be a costume. Right, well, I don't know yeah. if it's going to be the costume. It's probably going to be more in line with the, like, tracksuit one from the Sh- modern ones. Sure. But I mean, I was, he, I was gonna expecting, get the mask. I, I was expecting to get pop the pop collar. Uh, 
the pop colours the hard part, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be amazing. It's, it's so it's so dated. That'd be amazing so... if it was the pop colour. I mean, uh, you can give him a colour, like maybe not quite Doctor Strange high, but yeah. So you know, when I watch this teaser, I, I, it, it seems like it's like a scene out of the season, right? But it also seems like it could just be made for trailers. I don't know. It has this weird kind of. No, I, I get you. I get you. It has this weird yeah. kind of like slow thing of like. Danny? And it's like, is this made for a trailer? Or is this a scene in the show? Because there's a scene in the show. I hope it goes faster than it is in this teaser. Because it just seems weird. I mean, it, 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 was, it felt fine to me. To be honest. I, don't know. I understand it, where you're coming yeah. from, but to me it was fine. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, yeah, I have, I have to assume it, it's in the beginning of the show, right? Because if they're having little flashbacks like that, it has to be. I was going to say, it'll pro- it's probably the first episode. Really? Uh, I was going to say first three at least. I mean, it could be the first, first three. First three makes sense to me. I would bet on the first episode. I haven't seen anything of when we're getting Daredevil season three. Some people are hoping for Christmas. That'd be cool. I mean, with Iron Fist coming out in September, we're going to get Daredevil this year. It's got to be November, right? November's usually the time they do Thanksgiving. They usually do it the Friday that Thanksgiving is going to, like, you know, take effect. So it's one of the, or the Friday of after Thanksgiving. I don't know, one of those. Because that makes sense. Like, you have the whole week to watch and just continue to binge. Daredevil, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever Netflix show they have. Um, so yeah, uh, going on uh, from the Iron Fist Season 2 teaser, there is something else about Marvel Netflix and kind of this one big article that we, we kind of just split into two. And apparently there are new characters that are being teased for Marvel Netflix shows. You might know a little bit more about this. What does this mean? Like in terms well, it's, of just it's more, shows? It's like... It's an interesting one because, you know, there's a whole thing of, oh, there's going to be no new characters on Netflix. Yeah. Now, I just took that as period. Like, we're stuck with the five we have. Apparently not, because they're having... They've had ongoing discussions about spinning in characters, like new characters, into the shows. So I'm wondering if they can do different characters in these shows. They just can't give them their own show. But at the same time, you know, does Hellcat count as one of these new characters? Sure. I wouldn't personally have thought so, because she's already in Jessica Jones, but, you know, you, you could maybe put a Moon Knight in Punisher. There was apparently concept art being done by someone to have Moon Knight in the Punisher series, whether that's going to be in season two or some other, where, like somewhere else, I don't know. Um, unless they're saving you for a movie, but, you know, it's it's just an interesting like, little quote for them to come out. So, like, oh yeah, we've been talking about spinning off new characters in these shows. But it's like, but Disney have said no new Marvel shows. So how exactly can you do well, like, are they then just limited to being uh, such like sporting characters? Well, it's like one of those things where we're when or before in the years past we'd have Fox and Sony making their movies and they'd want to spin out with the characters that are based around the characters they had. So whether it be the Sinister Six, whether it be X Men and stuff like that, they want to spin. I'd assume anything related to the in, the people in Defenders. They're allowed to make. I mean, we had this thing before, right? Where they're maybe only allowed to do a Hellcat show, or maybe they're only allowed to do a Kingpin show, or you know, they did a Punisher after him in season two. So I don't know if they could do that because it's classed as a Netflix original. So I don't know how that would work. You, I mean, it'd be, uh, it'd be to see if they Runaways could do it, but... is a Hulu original, and it's gonna you know go on freeform. Only the premiere. So no, like, no whole season, just one episode? Yeah, well, it, it might be the first two, I don't know. But it's just, I mean, that, that's just teasing for a crossover. Yeah, like. but I swear that they said, Freeform said they were going to show the whole season. Let me see. No, no, because I thought that. It's that's just the premiere. It's just the premiere. Let me see. I'm, I'm looking it up right now. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but they just said, because the, the only thing I've seen is, like, Watch Cloak and Dagger finale, and then straight after watch the Runaways premiere. But... No, as of now, only the first episode is set to air as part of the marketing partnership between Hulu and Freeform. See, the way I took it as was that it was the whole season, but I guess not. I guess it only is the first episode, just as a way to kind of like, I guess to to show that I, I mean not to show, but to kind of make audience feel comfortable with both shows because they're eventually going to cross over, right? Yeah, we'll see. I, I'm here for new ones, but I don't know who they necessarily do. You know, I'm sure you got Moon Knight. You could maybe bring a Ghost Rider or Ghost Rider from Shield. Um, 
I don't know who who else would you bring on their street level blade, maybe, but I think they'd want to save blade for something else. Uh, of course, it's not Midnight Suns. No. You could, do like, you could do like Elsa Bloodstone and all that, maybe. Go a bit more supernatural with everything. Do some monsters, but Werewolf by Night would be a fun one to have. But yeah. uh, all right, well, going on to last piece of news, and this is gonna be on the topic of Marvel and Netflix. We've had three pieces of news for them because it's kind of you know the TCAs are here, the summer TCAs, and a lot was said about them. So we now have an official update for season two of the Defenders. Mitch kind of brought this into me the last second, so I don't know too much about this. You know more about this than I do. Right, right. Well, if you go back to what everyone said about this, they're going, it probably will not going to happen. Um, yeah, it's probably not. Um, I don't. It, That's the official still, update. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, it could still happen. What they've actually said is, like, it's. It's, it's the exact situation with the movies and TVs crossing over. It's just a, a scheduling conflict. Yes, they're all in the same universe. Like, yeah. they're, they're all TV series in in this case, and like they're all crossing over into one. But as they've said, to do that one show, they have to stop all four. That's why Daredevil season three was announced two years ago now and still hasn't come out. Yeah, like it's not necessarily an issue. It's just like. Do you rather do four shows or do one? And, you know, and I guess is... but eventually if they have these new characters who become new shows. I mean, if if that yeah. works out and they have new characters and then, you know, maybe it's a, it's okay a good to idea off, to yeah. cross more people yeah. over into it and maybe do something slightly bigger. Also, actually, I forgot to mention, Iron Fist Season 2 is 10 episodes. Yeah, that's fine with me. So. No, to be honest, I think that's the perfect amount for these Marvel ones. I think ten is great. I think thirteen, seven. I, I was more of a ten guy, like uh, like uh, not Game of Thrones, but HBO. Like you know, HBO does a lot of ten episodes. M- stuff. Most of our shows over here are ten episodes. I, I I don't know. I think ten episodes work. It's just it's a straight. I just like that number ten, you know, and ten hours. <laughs> and thirteen might be a little bit too much. Seven a little too little. Ten is right in the middle. I think so some shows can make thirteen work. Some can't. But sure. It's what. But yeah, it's it's literally. Purely all down to scheduling, and I what mean, that would you rather? Sense. Like, you know, would you rather have the four shows, or would you rather have? Yeah, the one? but you can't blame. It's hard to blame some of these people who, whether on any type of social media, where they're asking for stuff like this, right? More crossover because they were, you know, marketed as crossovers, and it's like one of those things. I think we all would love more crossovers, but I, as you start to realize and you learn more about the stuff, it is. It's the harder it is just because, as you said, scheduling, and it's hard, mm. it, it's hard to blame these people who are asking for it because that's that's kind of. I mean, I mean, like, it's, it's, like. I I understand why people want it. You, know, yeah. you can look at the CW and be like, well, they cross over with that stuff, and it's like, yeah, but their crossovers don't stop the show. They also are like right next to each next door to each other, so it's like the easiest yeah. thing. Well, I mean, th- these are all in New York, so it's all kind that's of. Just, but like you know, it's th- their crossovers happen in an episode of each show. It's not stopping the shows to make an, a completely different one. It's well, it would have if they went with my idea of a Justice League show. Uh, but at the same time, I thought that should have been more of a like Legend. Agent Carter, a- Agent, you know, you know yeah, like yeah, Agent yeah, Carter yeah, in the middle yeah. of the seasons. And uh, they yeah. see my idea was to have like the like Legends, but then you have like Stephen Amell, Grant Gustin, Melissa Benoist just appear like in one or two episodes. That doesn't stop their own show, you know. It just. No. It's a weekend off. Like they, they could just give an episode to some of the side characters while the other while the main characters go to the team up show for like the weekend. So yeah. it, I don't know. I, I felt like that could have worked better. I that's a CW rant that I'm not gonna go on again. <laughs> but yeah. But no, it's you know, as I said, it's the exact same argument as the movie one. I don't know, it shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone that this is the reason. But eh, it's fine. Like I, I don't necessarily need a second season of Defenders. Uh, I think if they can have new characters in these shows, you know, flesh out Hellcat more and actually make a Hellcat, which I believe season three of Jessica Jones is already doing. So maybe then and kind of treat it like an Avengers 2 and just show how bigger the roster's got and how more expansive everything is. But I'm fine. Uh, But all right, going on now to the shows of the week. My Hero Academia, season three, episode 16. Uh, good episode. Good episode. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, still has that awful generic Naruto bullshit intro, but it's a good episode. What's the intro? I, I don't remember the intro. 
I keep... Or the, the second half of season Because I, I played on Hulu, right? And then I know the intro is going to happen or like they're, and, then the, and then the commercial. So I just like let it play while I go get water or something like that. So, yeah, fair enough. I, I mean, it's just, yeah. it's just like... Because there's always it's a commercial so and I hate waiting for the commercial, but... Um, this Midoriya has never reminded me more of a typical anime character than he has this episode. Because when he said, uh, there, there's so much happening... All this competitiveness. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I like it. It just definitely yeah, reminded yeah. me more of an anime character than that, and which I loved it to be honest. Because you know, with the other characters, I don't want to say they're dumb, maybe oblivious, naive. One of those, what and, like Goku, which one? Naruto, you, oh, you know, those, Yusuke. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't want to say they're dumb, but no, they, they're dumb. Obliviousness dumb. could be one because Midoriya does have some certain obliviousness to him, but at the same time, he is actually really smart in his fighting. So, it's, uh, I, yeah, he reminded me of a typical anime character, but still, he's, it was super good in the way he did everything, because remember when he was like, all right, well, this isn't your gravity, and this and that, and I don't I just really liked that moment where he was standing still and just was thinking to himself, like, this is amazing, I love this fighting. For some reason. It's so dumb, why would you stand still? <laughs> uh, come on. I mean, he's done Move. kind of dumb things like that already. Yeah, but like in a case of where only I guess he didn't think, get through. I guess he didn't think anybody was around him, which I guess makes sense. There was nobody. Yeah, but even him. so, like you know, in a world of quirks, if you anyone as we were proved you know today, anyone could be there. You know what though? I, I this kind of proved to me that a quirk like the last Airbender would one hundred percent work because that guy had, or also one of them was Quake, right? One of them had a vibration and was well, one was vibration. Yeah, I suppose Quake. Yeah. Yeah. That's an initial I thought, like, oh, he's Quake? Uh, Didn't even make that connection. Really? I thought that was the first thing you were going to talk about. Um, And then the other one, uh, the weird, crazy guy had the air, like, kind of quirk, or the wind, and it was wild. I was just like, yeah. There's a lot of crazy people out there in the world, apparently. But, yeah, this was literally just, like, how many quirks can we think of? The episode. I thought it was cool though. I don't know. It, what, it was cool. I don't know what that like, girl was. I don't know what her quirk was. I don't. I don't remember. Cammy. Um. There's. You pay attention to Cammy. She will. I'm sure she's gonna pretend to be somebody else again. She she will come back up soon. She can pretend to be that's somebody all, else. Again, that's what I um, said. Yeah. I, look. I I said it before. But I will not be surprised if by the end, not of this, but of the end of kind of this per, this exam, that he Midori doesn't end up finishing and he doesn't end up getting his license. But yeah. uh, he's still going to train under All Might. Um, yeah. You know, if they did, if they made it where he did get his license, I feel like that's different than what's the standard. Because I feel like the usual is that he doesn't get his license and then he would go train with All Might anyways. Because that's kind of like how every other traditional hero has done it. They don't necessarily pass like the society test, but they they still are that hero eventually, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, like I said, whether it be Naruto with the training exam, whether it be Goku and um him, just I I, I guess he I guess he never I guess he won the tournament. I don't know. It's it's hard to go with Goku. There's a lot of weird things, but uh, like I, what was what were some of your favorite parts? I just really liked the many quirks that they showed off. I thought that was really fun to watch. I, I think that's probably the best part of this. It's just, let's have a, let's just go crazy with everything. Like, why not? You got the opportunity for it. Oh, man. Yeah. When the, when the Hidden Leaf Village showed up at the end, I thought that was wild. I was like, all right, well, we got ninjas actually now. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's like, oh, no, I get it now. Yeah. We got actual ninjas in this. <laughs> and they have quirks. I mean, of too. course you would. Like, of course, you'd have ninja superhero. You know, you got um the the wood guy, the group. I don't know. He dresses, he dresses like a ninja or I a samurai. I didn't really think about like ninjas, ninjas, and then it happened. I was like, whoa, that's cool. Like their quirks are pretty awesome. Uh, I gotta say, and then and again, they were clever with it. It's like they're made out of tungsten. Can't yeah. melt. Uh, See, this shows us a whole lot of clever. Is so uh, you know, I've been telling a, a couple. Uh, uh, of my friends that haven't started watching it, like me and a couple, me and some of them have, but there's a couple that haven't. We're just telling them, watch it, watch it. If you like Naruto, if you like Dragon Ball Z, you'll really love this show because I think it's better. Um, but it's just, I, you know, it's one of those things that I don't think everybody's still on board with it. It's still kind of, it's not like hit mainstream or has it? Because I remember saying it would with uh, the season. 
I thought it would with this season. I don't know why. I just thought it would. I, I don't know. I, I think... I'd like to think that it has. I, li- I think it has. But I'm not sure. Because a- everywhere I go, people are talking about it. So. Yeah, so I-, I would say that it probably has. I-, I-, I remember season two was kind of the breakout one because uh, it was longer. And it-, yeah, yeah. it had more like the sports festival, which everybody thought was cool, at Stain, which was like one of the best arcs in anime in a long time, for at least for me and the ones I saw. So, yeah. Chat, I'm not disrespecting Kamui Woods. I just completely forgot his name. Do so you, the, the group dude was the only thing I could think do you, of. To, do you think? Joe would know. Do you think anybody? Do you think everybody from UA is gonna make it, or do you think a couple of people are gonna be left? I out? mean, I I know who makes it. Uh, so a couple of people. I know be who doesn't. Out. Okay. Or do I? Right. A couple of people are gonna be left. Never mind. I, it's hard to ask you the question because you read ahead. <laughs> so it's I like I mean, I I read ahead. I haven't read anything since. Well, what else about this? I mean, like we said, the episode was great. It showed so many uh, cleverness to it. It showed so many quirks. Um, Midoriya. What was the it, end of this episode? Did it leave it on a massive Todoroki. It was Todoroki. And how oh, yeah, he Todoroki. Has to fight the yeah, because yeah. yeah, next week's probably going to be back. And, and then well. he says, like, being by yourself shows you're overconfident. And in my head, I'm like, yeah, he's overconfident. Yeah. But is he, though? I, he'll, is... I mean, he's properly confident, probably, because he's really good. And say he's, he's too. I don't think he's. Or I think he's too level-headed for that. But dude, I like I, I, I so wanted to see Baku go just beat a bunch of people, like take them out. I don't know why. He will. He will. I wanted. I he thought will. it was gonna be this episode that you're just gonna randomly see Baku go take out a bunch of people, but that might be the. You know, they focused on Midoriya. They're gonna focus on Todoroki, and in the episode after that, they're gonna focus on Baku. They're the three kind of the Trinity. So, those are the yeah. three that they're always gonna focus on, and I mean. If, from our recollection, I think this season was the first time they focused more on Bakugo because last season it was more on Todoroki. Well, they, they never really gave him that moment, and well, yeah, and they season, finally actually pushed him a little bit forward. Well, it was that, always there, but I was actually. But when you look at it, like the first season was all about Midori, right? Second season had a lot more Todoroki in it. Third season had more Bakugo in it, and kind of learn more about him. So it's kind of the Trinity they each had their season. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, and I, I mean, I think they. Worked out fine for us. They did. I, honestly, I wish I could binge this show because I just I love the show so much. But I, I mean, you can just like watch it from the start to now. <laughs> I gotta rewatch it again from the start to now. <laughs> I, I don't think I'll you be did that with Naruto. Episode. Just do it again. Yeah, but not in the middle of a season. You, you did it with the final arc. Yeah, but I didn't know it was like the final. I don't know. I I didn't watch it like. I don't, Cause I'll, I'll watch it when the season ends. Cause I kind I really want to see all the season. Well, then ends. wait for the season end. You got what, six, seven weeks? Oh, you know, he gave me an idea. When the last episode, gonna binge it all, until the until the last episode of the third season. So there you go then. Yeah. Right. I'm pretty certain you binged Naruto when it was during the arc. Then you stopped. And then you binged it again. Yeah. Then you I, I, I end. You binged it again. Listen, listen <laughs> we've been over this. I have to for certain shows. It would be Game of Thrones, Naruto, or Psych. Uh, yeah, but there's a there's a like you know there's a need a want for being invested and then there's a like yeah I accept- want to be invested I I feel like to be invested in these shows of, I have to rewatch them so I can feel invested in them and then eventually uh, the payoffs work you know but I'm pretty sure you watched it like three times in a year okay not three times in a year that's why it was something crazy like that maybe three times in two years but at the same time even that's kind of crazy at the same time I didn't watch it all three times in two years I might have watched it see. See, here's the thing. If you watched it twice or three times in two years, that's what? How many episodes? Well, that's not... You're rewatching it quite quickly. I, I feel like, I feel like the chat is kind of on delay for like five minutes because I mentioned Game of Thrones and Naruto like five to 30 minutes ago. Uh, but... uh, I mean, she's always slow. <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's one of those things where I, I just... I can't get enough of the show, to be honest. Like, I always... Huh? Last Airbender was somewhere I can rewatch. It's nowhere. It's not on Netflix and Amazon. I think they want you to buy the Blu-ray. That's probably why. I, I think it's on the Nickelodeon website. I'm not sure. You know, I, I'm tempted to buy that Last Airbender Blu-ray. That's uh, it, do it. It, it looks so good, but I just I don't buy physical anymore because I don't know where to put them. I, I don't mean, really have you, shelf room. Well, everyone's got shelf room, surely. Nah, there's so much stuff on my shelf. It's like, yeah, no. Nah. We'll get another shelf. I'm good. I might actually buy it. 
and and just put it somewhere. I might just leave it on my desk and have it like ha have something on it. I don't know. I just kind of want it. Make it, it a looks shrine. Like put it in the corner. Make it shrine. That'd be nice. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything more to talk about this show. Right? We both no, good episode. Just a good episode. Um, yeah. You already know what's coming ahead, so it's like you can't. Tr you're trying not to spoil. A hundred percent thankful for that because I'm trying to get not to get spoiled. But all right, we are now gonna go into the last show, and that's gonna be Cloak and Dagger season one, episode nine. Now, I, I tweeted this, and I told you at the very beginning, this was the episode that made me think this is my favorite superhero show out at the moment, whether it be uh, Legion, whether it be uh, Ages of S.H.I.E.L.D., any of the CW shows, um, I mean, I guess Netflix, I, you can kind of, because I really, I really like Daredevil, but at the same time, this, I don't know, there's something To me, the, it's, it's far better than the Netflix the, the, This episode really, kind of the almost meta commentary it had on yes, this season, yes. And almost... Well, I mean, it's just on it's heroes always... in general. And just yeah, talking about how the storytelling yeah. works. It's like, yeah, they... You have those generic arcs. And I say generic arcs, but, you know, that they, they, you have to have the regression point for but, these... For things to grow and go in certain directions and validate everything. But one of my... And, and, yeah, that was a cool point. Like, throughout the whole episode, there's little narrations like that. And, and like I said, narrating on the characters, but also narrating outside of it and heroes in general. Favorite point was just at the very end where he says... Uh, the hero's journey is not about the hero, it's about us. I was like, oh, man. That's like, whoever yeah. wrote this script for this episode was whoever, like, thought that this should be based around it for the last, second second to last episode really knew it. Like, they, that was like 9,000 IQ or something like that because they, 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 it worked perfectly fine with the way the season was kind of, like, he heading, especially with the detective, uh, uh, oh, right. Right. Yeah, yeah, so... And how you know, I doing... I want to talk about O'Reilly quickly, because there's one thing that they've done that's really annoyed me. What's up? And it's and it's not in the show. I've got nothing bad to say against the show. Why would you come out and say Mayhem's going to be a villain next season? The like the it, week it, before you yeah, spent, if, like literally tell everyone, oh look, she's going to be a villain next season. I like, why? I think it's why would you ever do that? I think. If I'm in their heads, uh, the suits' heads, I think it's because they uh, they didn't think that a lot of people would know. Like, think a few couple, a handful of the audience would know, but not everybody. So it's yeah, like one in, of those things nobody this, knows in, who may In this is. internet age where Wikipedia is a thing and you literally use the name of the villain Look, in your poster, why would you ever do that? It's like we said, right? We said, well, how come people's first instincts aren't to Google? When we said earlier in the show, when... People exactly, like, oh, you but have a Twitter or whatever, and they're like, no, they still they don't know nobody Google's for some yeah, reason. But you you could just you know it's people would like, just see like a random IGN article and it's like, oh look, here's this and mayhem is actually the take of O'Reilly or something, right? Yeah, and it's just like it's day thanks. and age of clickbaits and kind of spoilers. Like if you're on the internet, you're pretty much gonna you, you're right. It should have been saved in, and it also it kind of I don't know. I feel like it robbed me of my little moment. Because, yes, I, I said last week, look, I was right, they're going to do the uh, Brigitte O'Reilly thing or Bridget O'Reilly thing. And it's in this episode, it's like, I could have had a, like a legitimate reaction to that, but I knew it was coming. Even though I kind of knew it was coming anyway, but I didn't See, know. See, I, I, didn't knew, I didn't knew it was coming until you told me. So it was like one of those things where maybe just people didn't know. Like me, I, I was like, I don't know who him is. I don't know that much about Marvel Comics. Um, and I didn't see any articles about it. I just kind of like, hey, you could just tell me it's fine. Uh -huh. um, but I, it, right? Like, there's this. I mean, going back, to, I guess, to the just the episode. You know, I didn't know Tandy. So when when is Tandy's power? So her able to take hopes away? It's... I don't know if that's actually a thing. I don't remember that ever happening. But I like that they're expanding on how they work. Yeah. So. I mean, I think that's what they initially said of the show because I think they initially, when the show first came out, like the first two episodes, I remember an article kind of stating that while the the comics did something, they were going to expand a whole lot more into it in the show. And I remember yeah. thinking that the the hope thing and the fear thing, I thought that's what they meant by expanding because I didn't think that happened in the comics. But it, no, that, that definitely Dude, that's what I'm saying. I know you told me that happened in the comics like when we talked about it like eight weeks, six weeks ago or something like that, right? But that's why 
now coming to this episode, you start to realize like, oh, so expanding in terms of just adding new elements to their power. So maybe Tandy, she can put her feelings into someone else or how, like she could give people certain feelings. And I assume with Tyrone, he's going to be able to give people fears that maybe they don't have fears of. Oh, no, I because sh- um, that, that that's not quite how it works. Well, that's I mean, they, well, we don't that's know not what they've how... shown you. No, but that's not what like they've shown you in this show so far. Yeah, but I didn't it's know not, it's Tandy not that, could do it's not, that. No, it's not that Tandy is giving people certain feelings. She's taking the hopes. So in theory, Tyrone would be taking the, the fears. fears. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's that's what it's showing you. Like, to she me, can... with this episode, it, I, I initially thought that, but then eventually when it came to the Mina part, I was like, is she just giving her a feeling that her dad is a scumbag or is she just taking her hopes away? Like, it was hard to tell because now you know how I feel. And I was, I couldn't tell. Like, was she just giving her a certain type of feeling? No, it's more like, you know, you, you take someone's hope away, they're hopeless. Yeah, I know. So, so she now, just has that yeah. feeling of hopeless. Yeah, now I get that. But it's just, at the time when I was watching the episode, it definitely could have gone out of the way for me. Um, so, yeah, in theory. So, but also, I guess, if you could take away, I'm sure you could give. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I imagine so, yeah. If you could, yeah. I'm sure Tanny, if somebody's hopeless, can give hope to somebody. And Tyrone, someone's fearless, can give fear yeah. to somebody. Uh, but... You know, I assume well, everybody you know, has like, hopes and fears anyway, but I assume like, they could give it to. Like, as she said in the episode, she's only just really learned to do it. So yeah, so yeah, so I guess this is what they meant by expanding the powers because, uh, like you said, you don't necessarily remember them being able to do stuff like this in the comics. So if this is what they mean, I think we are on uh, kind of the base level of what they could do, and we're just starting to learn oh, more. Oh yeah, yeah, there's gonna be a, so much. I'm so excited because this is adding on to more from the comics, and if they. I don't know what they could have for powers. I mean, who knows? Uh, like you said, maybe they could take, but, but maybe they could give. Maybe, I mean, they, they've still got, like, room to go with, yeah. like, what they can do. You know, she's still limited to only one dagger, and Tyrone hasn't got the Dark Force stuff yet. So, And like I said, who... who I know you think it's going to be just daggers, but who knows? Maybe it's a Green Lantern type of thing where she can make it into a shield. I don't know. They could do anything with the powers, no, right? No, no, that's That's... No. She's called Dagger, not like... Yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I'm just saying, they could do anything with the powers. I don't know which way they could take I'm not going to be surprised if they do that, to be honest, because no, they won't, that would just that, be... That, that goes against the entire point of their power set and the two of them being together. Tyrone is the shield. She's okay, the... but that's not... I, mean, I didn't mean shield as in, like, she's going to make a shield, but I'm just saying, like, she can make something else. It doesn't well, have to no. be a dagger. No. I, I, I don't know, I'm not going to... Put it against that. I think well, maybe she makes that like that light bar that has like that fires out the daggers. That's quite often how it's drawn in the comics. Yeah. And unless it's actually just like the picture of the light going across, I don't know. It probably is, but I like I said, I, you know what they did with this episode. I am not gonna put anything against them. I think they can really get creative with their powers and. I mean, of course they can. So I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't. I don't know, know what like they're the gonna make. Set. I don't know if the base set is gonna change that much. I, I mean, I, I is would... it a base set though? Like she's. Of course it is. The base set is that they can te- one can teleport and one's got daggers. That's the base set. I thought the base set was one's used the dark force and one has light force or whatever. No. I thought that was the base set. No. no. Right, well, I wonder. And, if and the thing about this episode, it kind of confirms that no one can see the light. I mean, I told you that. I know. So I'm saying it kind of confirms that no one can see. Yeah. It. Also. I th- it has a lot to do with that episode six or whatever when Tyrone was running away from Fuchs and how he, from his from Fuchs perspective he just saw like Tyrone like start disappearing like in and out so it, it, it makes sense to me that only they could see the light and the darkness because remember but when... that's so that's so weird then that's Is so weird the... yeah because then what she's stabbing people with just invisible stuff nobody's gonna be able to see it yeah but. It's you know what just, I'm thinking? That's I'm just thinking so weird. people who are just humans can't see it. But if you're infused with the energy, or maybe if you're a meta human, maybe you can see it. If you're not, if no, you're... that's just that's just so weird. That's just I'm just gonna assume humans weird. can't see it. Because yeah. then, if you're fighting against like Mister Chip or Mayhem in the future, and they have powers, I, I assume they have to be able to see kind of. Because like, here's the thing: if they from. can't like. 
if they can't see it, or if it's only those two that can see it, what's the point in even doing the CGI for it? Well, that's why I just said, right? Like, we're. I assume somebody with powers is going to be able to see it. I don't know why. I don't know. Why. I'm assuming humans can't see it. And I don't know why. Yeah, but they at the same time, it. like when she, uh, the rock song guy, she pulled the dagger on. Like, I assume he must have known what the hell was happening. See, I, I didn't. I just thought he, he didn't know what was happening. Uh, see, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. I, I don't know. I, I wonder if they'll explain it or if this is just a thing that they decided to do. I'm sure it has some explanation. It may be in... Because, look, we saw in this episode, which I thought I was so surprised when Tani tried to take a help uh, away from Evita, and then she said no and kind of, like, forced Tandy out. I was like, whoa, mm. why is she able to do that kind of stuff? Can we leave Tandy alone? No, because she's... She literally tried to take the hopes away from everybody. She even said it because she's a B-word. Yeah, because, like, you know, she's not exactly... Nope. You, at, at some point, you have to be able to overcome her. You know, at some point, it doesn't define you. At the, You know, a lot, there's a lot of I mean, other people I mean, yeah, who have that terrible... Was kind of, that was kind of the point of the episode, really, yeah. wasn't it? But, yeah. you know, at the same time, like, it defines them both. I don't know. I just think that, uh, you know... No, but her being a B-word, like, I don't think it... Just because something bad happened to you doesn't mean you should be that much of a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people have a lot of bad you things know, happen to she, them. She spent eight years of her life trying to, like, clear her dad's name. You know, what would any normal person yeah, be like? I, under that's why I said, like, I'm sure a lot of people have bad things happen to them. Not everybody's a dickhead. I mean, most people are dickheads and bad Yeah, but not them. everybody. Most people. Yeah, but not everybody. Most people. Yeah, that's what I said. Not everybody. Uh, that's yep. not that's yep. not I'm not saying not most people, but I'm saying not everybody. So it's just one of those things that I I just can't. I'm not I, like Tyrone just makes a lot of sense, man. He's yeah. he's trying to Tyrone, overcome that, it. No, no, no. That that's Oh well, actually he did start a fight though, which you cannot shit on Tandy in this episode and then go Tyrone. Yeah, he did try to hit a priest, so that he messed up with that. The exact same he, fucking thing. He did try to hit a priest that's and I, I was so like when I saw that, I was like, did this dude just really try to clock a priest? What? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Out of wild. Because he's a piece of shit. They yeah, both okay, there. But I'm not. That's but, at, but at the same time, I will not take Tandy slander. I will not take Tyrone slander. So I'm not slandering Tyrone. Literally. Right. Team Joe. Team Joe. Yeah, well done. You got sci fi. That's nothing to be yeah, proud that's of. That's a lot to be proud of. Uh, so be careful. Team Joe. If that, if that, chat if there is tandy slander you're getting timed out nope you're not getting timed out from me we'll get you 100 percent i'll un unmod mitch um i'll, but I'll get armin to unmod you and give that oh good <laughs> i still I'll, I'll walk everybody else around the login so they can be free no. uh but uh yeah i mean they're both really bad at, at some point i was wondering because tandy did make a point of how tyrone was maybe on his high horse a bit but he's he, on his high horse well, okay well let me finish my sentence uh, so he was on his high horse a bit, but he did make sense. It's just that it was weird that the, the writers wrote it that way and that he was kind of being a dickhead too and then went on his high horse. when. I mean, he was always on his high horse. He's always been like holier than now. Yeah, but it's just, he tried to clock a priest, man. That's kind of yeah, like Yeah, that's because wild. he's angry as fuck. Yeah, it's kind of like, wild. Any any teenager in that situation would start a fight. I, You know what? My favorite part was when the priest kind of just held him back, was like, calm down, just calm down. I, because to me, he knew that Tyrone wasn't really mad. It's just that some no, of the characters he, like, was getting into him. Yeah. As we found out, like, the priest can probably relate to Tyrone yeah. a lot yeah. more than Tyrone realized. Which I really like this gimmick of the hopes and fear stuff for this show because like, it gives character development in seconds. Yeah, because so I, I, I didn't know that the priest. I thought the priest was just like a drunk, right? No, it's like we we haven't seen this priest for what five episodes at this yeah. point. It's been ages, and yet all of a sudden, it's just like oh fuck! Like you kind of killed your family. Bro. Yeah. Obviously, it was accidental. Well, I say accidental. We drink driving, but to be fair, I thought he just ran over like a soccer field and killed a bunch of soccer players. But I, okay, I mean, maybe he might have I, killed his family. I took, I took it as the family. I could be wrong with that. We I, haven't really. I, I'm gonna out. take it as his family too, to be honest, because I don't. I, I just I was I thinking think of Sicario. Family hurts more. Yeah, I would give reason to, but I, I don't know. Not Man, trying. This episode got super wild. I just 
There's it so did. much. To, this is my favorite episode of the season, and also just shows a lot of what this show is so good at. It has that meta commentary we talked about, like about heroes and these characters. Um, it, it's able to give, you know, they're creative with their powers or the taking of hope or the fear, looking into people's fears. Um, it gives character development to characters we didn't know too Like, who knew Avita could do that? Who knew that happened to the priest? You know, and it's like... I mean, can we just talk about the whole Avina thing? Like, what the fuck? Where the hell did she learn that? I'm going to assume has to do something with their, her grandma because this yeah. episode her grandma was talking about you have to find the other one uh, so we can save New Orleans and that she maybe put something on like avita has been training you know like in the psychic yeah, ways yeah. eventually but does does this kind of confirm that there's been more than one cloak and dagger or is it like the divine pairing is not necessarily a cloak and a dagger I, I'm gonna... it's just there's all it's just that there's always two and they just happen to have these powers and be the two I'm gonna assume it's the latter, where it's there's always a divine pairing. Maybe they have different powers every time, um, based on like the things, or maybe the fear and hope thing could be true. Like every century or whatever, there is like two people who have the power for fear and hope, and mm. they have to defend the city and stuff like that. That you know that would be cool. I don't know. I, I, either way, I think I think they're gonna make it work. I just think there's a lot to like. The one thing I don't know too much about is kind of the ending and how randomly. Like, the cops just pulled up and Tyrone has to run. I was like, all right, that might be a little bit too much, but at the same time, I guess it makes sense. I'm, I mean, it, it works. You, you, you think the whole um, O'Reilly scene in the bar. She, he where, literally where, beat where, up what, a woman. Exactly, no. He just literally walks in there and you you knew it, was, it had to be him at that point because the fucking cl- like Irish biddy club's on the fucking wall. Yeah. But, like, you know, he's... Where he's got everyone in his pocket, like... In, it's kind of obvious that he would go after Tyra. He literally beat O'Reilly up. And I guess it's one of those yeah. things like, well, she's a cop. She knows how to defend herself. It's like, if it was a guy, nobody would be saying anything. You know what I'm saying? But because it's a uh, woman, like some people are like, why did he have to beat up a woman? But she is a cop. She can handle herself. I say, it, it's all part of her becoming mayhem, which yeah. going back to that, I'm surprised they're billing her as a villain. Which is more of like an anti-hero vigilante. I mean, yeah. it, are uh, they billing her as a villain? Oh yeah, they, they the priest literally says that's how you get a villain, and it cuts to I her. I guess, I guess so. Like, yeah. be more on the nose that you're saying she's a villain. I, I yeah. guess so. I guess we're talking about the marketing because all I remember from the marketing was like mayhem. It's kind of, or season oh, yeah, two the, would be mayhem. That's like, kind of the, it. That's all they had. The poster and the teaser said that, but like actually in the show, they're billing her as a villain. Yeah, it's true. Which I I, I wonder how close they're going to actually stick to the whole O'Reilly Bridget thing, but. Not Bridget, uh, Mayhem. So, what was the point of him not grabbing his cloak? Was it just because, like, he has to be able to do it without the cloak? Because remember, the cloak gives him, like, the sense of... What, you mean when he's in class? No, when he's in, um, when he's running away from the cops at the end. What is the point of him not grabbing the cloak? Um, I assume because his mother was there. And she doesn't know. No, but, like, still, she was... In the kitchen, she, she didn't see him. Yeah, but she was telling him to run. He wanted. Yeah, to get he out. could have just got the to cloak be, real quick fair, and did. To be fair, I did wonder like why not just get out of sight and pop out of there. Like why actually physically run out the back? But not even but, th- that, right? I wasn't even thinking about teleporting. He could have just grabbed the. It wasn't that far away from the window. Just. I didn't see where time, it was. One time, you know what I'm saying? I guess maybe that extra second would have made the cops see him. Which to be fair, is like. It's... I don't know. It just seems like. He needed the cloak because one of my uh, pet peeves in any story, and I guess it happens a majority of the time, is when the third act or the final act, whatever, the heroes have to fight, right? They're never really at 100% or they're never really fully ready. It's always kind of just like, I I have to do it now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, One of my pet peeves. Just quickly though, Billy Bow in the chat, Mayhem Mayhem was originally good as O'Reilly. But when she died and came back in the comics, she was an anti-hero. Because she went after the same people as Cloak and Dagger did. Im- Im- imagine the saying, so the cloak was at the hangar that's the front of the door, but he went out through the window that was right next to the front of the door? I think I, it's probably just literally just like, oh my, i, I got to get out of here. Like, he's not really he, thinking. He thought about it. He thought about grabbing it. And did I he? I, yeah. I don't remember him thinking about he looked, it. I, he looked at it and was going to grab it. Then he looked back and he saw the cops like banging on the door and possibly about to come in and he just ran. I get it. Like, he didn't have time to get it. But yeah. it's it's, it might have piece. something to do with like the whole he's 
like he used that against what's his face or Scarface. The fields. Yeah, that's yeah. the way I can remember his name. So like, like, if he sees me with this, he's gonna know what's happened, and it just confirms it. Even though I suppose leaving it there kind of confirms it anyway. Yeah. So, but yeah. I suppose even leaving it there, they can go, "Oh no, it was Billy's. We just keep it around." If you like, look at the bag, it's just what I swear I saw that exact shot of him looking at the cloak, and then looking back, he sees the cows banging, and then he just. Dips. I get the cloak is. I mean, this probably on the the hangers are probably in the front door, but I swear I saw him look like at it and then just turn to the left and there's the window. I swear. Um, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm sure he gets it back eventually. I mean, he definitely went out the back. Yeah. I mean, he can he can really just teleport back in and get it real quick. Like it's not that big of a deal, I guess. Um, but yeah. I don't know. It just it, it just was weird. I, it's just one of my pet peeves that. N- Every time the final act comes, the heroes are never at 100%. They're always just like, I got I have yeah, my wits, that's, and that's, that's it. That's the thing. Like, if you have them at 100%, things would be easy and therefore not interesting. I, I get so, it. I get, I get it. But I, you can still make it interesting. It's just... I mean, yes, you, it you just still depends can. on the writer. You know, but at the same time, it's more interesting when they're not at 100%. That's why they're at this point now, and the finale is next week. Yeah, but I, I'm they just saying... They have to... about them. They're not really thinking straight. You know, Tandy... God knows what the fuck Tandy's going to do. I imagine she's going to throw a dagger at the girl. You know what? My other pet peeve is that they still haven't found out that they have each other's stuff, like the blanket and the shoe. That has to be a season one ending thing. Yeah, that yeah. Has to be. That's, that's my biggest pet peeve of this season so far. They, they still kind of... don't know. I mean, it's it's not really important, I but at the, same, at the same time, I mean, I think currently now it's not important, but you can make it important, like pushing their relationship together. I, I, I think it kind of is important because I mean, I, that's why I just kind of agree with you. Yeah, there. Oh, I thought you said it wasn't, and you could, but no, I, I said it's not necessarily important now, but you can make it important by put like having that be the catalyst. I, I guess it just it, it seems like something that's gonna end the season, right? They're gonna finish whatever the fight is. We're still gonna go help Mina against the which we kind of knew this was gonna happen again, right? Of how like it was just gonna reoccur, kind of like the energy would spell out. And some people would we kind of thought yeah. something like well, that. So I'm pretty certain that they gave him a mayhem teaser. I'm not a hundred percent, even though mayhem's green and that stuff looked blue, but it's... yeah, maybe. I suppose it kind of is a tease because it shows it affects people different ways. It's not necessarily so wait, just... Did they say that the person who killed Pancake Cop was Tyrone? Is that what they said? I think they're going to try and pin it on Tyrone, yeah. Yeah. Imagine trying to pin it on a kid, but I guess... I guess... Yes. Um, anything else about this episode? White Cop. Uh, rip that B. That B got fucked. It's oh, yeah. Question. And, you know, remember when we were talking about the B and kind of how it how it mattered and you didn't you didn't necessarily get it and then i brought up the point of like hope right like it might not sting you and then now there is yeah, no hope yeah. i love that little full circle thing that they added to be honest yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it's not like a good episode no it's it's a great episode i, know, I, 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 episode I still of kind of want them to leave tandy alone for once because she's had the shit every single episode in this season yet people were like oh no fuck Tandy it's like, well, yeah she's just... literally taking hopes away from people yeah cause she's yeah. had everything taken away from her yeah this girl has nothing. yeah a lot some people no. have too like it's just I don't know I just, it's just hard to root for her because no. she, she just no. keeps doing such like yeah, bad you'll, things you'll, you'll sit there and root for Tyra I'm not rooting said, for Tyra or... yes you are no I'm not Chihuahua. That's a joke because you said you're rooting for Tandy. <laughs> this is this is racism. That's what that. Yeah, is. I'm not rooting for Tyra. I'm not, really. They both uh, have some bad baggage, um, and I would love for both of them to at least like stop being dickheads. But that ain't gonna happen. So I have to. Eh, I think if they stop being dickheads, they become to. Um, I, I mean, no, because but... Tandy in that last couple episodes wasn't like a bad like character. She just stopped being a dickhead. Well, she's not a bad character now. Yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, like, her not being a dickhead doesn't make her a bad character. Yeah. Yeah. But leave, so, leave my queen alone. I, yeah, she, I will throw hands. Uh, I, anyway. She, she has, we have every right because she she takes no, literally hopes. She literally bailed this dude out, Liam, and was like, you know, I just bailed you out so I could take your hopes away. Like, wow. Imagine that. But she, she didn't take him away, though. 
She was gonna, she, and then she, she got she stopped. Was, she was gonna do it, but she didn't. That's she got stopped, and then yeah. you know that's what Which happened. Which is Karma, weird. Right? That's, a, that's another thing that they expanded on. They can both do if they do it at the same time. They can both meet each other. Yeah. Uh, also, Karma. Uh, she got her money stolen. Yeah, poor girl. Karma. Yeah. That's yeah. what happens. That's See, what happens I, I, when I, you try I'm to get calls certain, from people. I'm pretty certain I pointed out last week. Like she didn't put the head on straight. Uh, anyone could have figured that out. But... You know, I, I'm glad that her money got taken away because now she's going to realize, like, there's more to this, to this, you know what I'm saying? Well, well, exactly, you know, that's the whole point of the regression. She's had more things taken away from her now. So she can't, you know, she has to only go forward. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, wait, was it the guy? No, the guy who tried to rape her is probably, like, not she, he probably tried to leave town because like he just got beat up by a girl. That's a good point because you just saw him in the hospital and that was it. Whatever happened to him? Uh, I don't really care. I don't see that's something I don't need answers. I just assume that. I mean, uh, I don't need answers to it, but it's, it's kind of like a little hanging thread. I suppose you could bring it back in a season two. Nah, I just assumed that the cop O'Reilly was all like, "Look, either I put you in jail or I put you in jail for trying to rape her." You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, like, I'm, 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 I'm agreeing you with you. Want, you know I'm, I'm just saying, like, if you wanted to bring it back up, you could bring it back up later on. That's, know, that's something I don't see being brought up. I feel like they're just going to just leave it how it is. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying they could. If people really wanted it, they could bring it up. It's not necessarily... Do people really want it? Uh, I'm looking at Sharon. Well, I'm not saying they are. I'm just saying if people really want it. Do you want it? Is that what you... No, you... I, no I'm not. I'm not saying uh, that. I thought you all. wanted it. That's why. That's why I say I agree with you. Yeah, I don't think so. But... I don't even think if people want it, it's going to happen, in my opinion. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like something that's that important. I mean, well, if you bring it up, what do you do with it? Like, you just say, like, well, oh. What would, you, what would you do if you bring up the shoe and the hoodie? Well, see that, see that matters because that. It's literally them, the same thing. That's where they got their first kind of connection of, to each other. Like, this is what made me feel uh, safe in a way for Tandy, right? The blanket made her feel safe. Yeah, but what the shoe didn't make him feel safe. See, that's the, that's the other up. problem. They focused a lot on Tandy and the blanket. They never really focused on the shoe and... It's because it's a fucking ballet shoe for an eight-year-old. Like, it doesn't really mean anything. I mean, if anything, it just means curiosity, right? I don't know. Like, he still has it. Like, he doesn't know whose it is. But she said, like, you're the kid on the beach, so I'd assume they would have both knew. But all right, well, I'm not talking about it too much. Uh, I think that's going to be it for the show. Love the episode. Can't wait to yep. talk about it more. Uh, for next season, then hopefully, you know, uh, for next episode and do a whole like full season thing and just also whatever the next season I, is. I kind of really want them to do a Netflix Daredevil and just have them look like the comics at the end of the season, but I don't know if they're going to do it because of Tandy. But yeah. just just put her all in white. This is one time. Just have her all in white. All Go right. On. Well, for that, and we, uh, we'll see you next time. Toodles.